And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. It's a really fat rat Batman pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, hey welcome. I'm Alex. Go and check out the fat today from Berry Pedals. Yes. This bad boy has said to us, uh, hey, please hit like and subscribe on the video first. Give us a thumbs up and ding the bell. All that jazz. Comments, questions below too. Please do. In the comment section. So uh, this was sent to us by Berry Pedals. Yep. Um, handmade uh, in Wollongong, Australia. Yep. Uh, so the idea behind a fat uh, is basically it's a rat, but it's a two-channel rat mm -hmm. uh, with separate volume and gain control for each channel and uh, a three-band EQ instead of the filter norm. Yep. Uh, and basically foot switchable right, between the two channels. And uh, in the world of rats, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool having the full EQ. Yeah. Now, to hear this thing, we're going to go into a Moztronics amp switcher in the rack into a and Cherry Turn OTS Mini 20 and a $2 Torpedo Captor X. Yes, and in a reverb, which yeah. I will be turning down eventually, uh, that you're hearing comes from that. No, we need reverb. Uh, okay, so, uh, like I mentioned before, two rats, you've basically got the one, the two knobs with the green ring around it, and that corresponds to the green light, and then you have the red light and the two with mm. the red rings around it. Whoa, whoa slow down. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your on and off switch. Yeah. So basically you've got a shared, I mean, it's not two rats, it's one rat with two channels, basically. You've got a, a, a mid um, bass, uh, well, high, mid and low uh, EQ that's shared for both, and then you've got the volume and gain for either side. So you can have a lower gain, higher gain. Just an observation, uh, lots of awesome stuff coming out of Australia at the moment, and they're all really good build quality. Oh, they're, not, they're great, yeah. Like, great knobs, whatever yeah. Whatever pots you're using, awesome. Yeah. Um, even the logo's been properly um, riveted on the front. We'll show a photo of that, yeah. And they kind of have this matte. Um, yeah, good, very good quality, very, very like well built. Powder coated or something. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty awesome. Thing. Yeah. Anyway, should all right, we, should we start off with uh, uh, what so, kind of guitar is it that you're using there for that first? This is a Asaya. L7? L7. And there's a video for you. Gold top with the clear back and sides. Yes. I really dig the rat with a three band EQ on it. It's pretty cool. It's, that's it's that's a, that's makes, really cool. It makes level. Uh, to me. I, I love I love rats and I love rat circuits. It's like the evolution of the rat. Yeah, and it just makes it even better. Raw. Do you want to have a go on your Ruh. own? Uh, sure. Spin on your guitar. Uh, so I'm going to use to begin with anyway. I'm going to use the this Yamaha Revstar RSS O2T in Sunset Burst. Big thank you to the awesome people at Yamaha Australia for sending this out. So the same setting that Alex had it at before. Yeah, uh, this is the clean set.
with the meds, there's a lot of... Oh. You can you get rid of a lot of meds and you can add a lot of meds. You go from 70s to 2004, just like that. If they're both on 12 o'clock, they should be the same. So the cool thing is you can set one like there yeah. somewhere, the other one where it really belongs, like right up there. Yeah. I like it. Super sick. Um, tea style. <laughs> We've got a tea style in tune, and we have a dog again, and we have a rat. It's cool, and having a separate volume control too, you, you yeah. can lead boost. You could set it gain the same and just more volume or more yeah. gain or both. Um, so good having three bandy cue. Yeah, I think it, yeah. it totally makes the rat even better. Ruh. <laughs> Ruh? Right. Better, right. Right. Um, should we, do you want to play more? Or? No, you can have a go for them. Uh, because what everyone wants to know is... Do they? Yeah. yeah. What does it sound like with a uh, aluminium neck guitar tuned down to C standard uh, with a Bagley guitar's aluminium neck, a uh, Vander guitar body, uh, Curtis Novak Thunderbird bass for guitar pickups, Herod, um, Justin Hermes Herod um, custom made aluminium uh, anodized pickguard, Descendant Vibrato Mastery Bridge and String Switch Noise Has to be wiring. The, the longest name for a guitar ever. <laughs> Oh, I'm clean, it sounds like this. With a little bit of delay, I don't know what's, what it's set to, but...
Shut it off then. Um, it's cool. Holy moly. It's cool. I like rats. I like now rats with three bandy cues even better. <laughs> yeah, right. Quite possibly one of the best rats I've played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely. Mm. We should do shootout with some other rats at some sure. stage. Let's do that. Who wants to see that? Let us know in the comments below. Rodent party. Rodent party, yes. Yeah, what do you think? Comments yeah. below. Yeah. Do you dig? Um, I dig. I <laughs> dig. Cool. And links below to our Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. Check them out if you've got a second. Yeah, we do podcasts every once in a while now. The ace. They used to be regular, less regular yeah. lately. It happens when you get older. You yeah. Get less regular. Podcast Metamucil. <laughs> <And, laughs> um, thanks again for hanging out, checking out the pedal with us. Yeah, big thank you to Barry Pedals for sending this up to us. It's been awesome. See you soon.